got this fucking crazy headline courtesy of BBC. McDonald's workers speak out over sexual abuse claims. That's a fucking crazy thumbnail. Imagine this. Is there some sort of like ring of sexual abusers inside of McDonald's? The fucking area managers are molesting people while they're fucking frying or while they're fucking stacking up the double cheeseburger. Someone's touching your breast. This is fucking wild. Let's see what, what this article is about. But you know what this makes made me think about? This made me think, right? This might be the, the reason why this might be happening. There was a period in time, especially in the UK, where there was, you know, un unemployment rate was super high. And essentially, everybody was getting fired. I, I basically got let go at the beginning of the pandemic of, of this job that I was at. Um, that was pretty decent because essentially, you know, money was running out, not enough funding. The business was going down. So everybody basically got let go. And a lot of those kind of like what I would say mid-level jobs that I was sort of working in, a lot of those people were basically out of jobs and they had to make money. So a lot of those people, my friends included, got into doing like delivery driving or gig work, gig work and also got into working in places like McDonald's and shit for the period of the pandemic. Because I know one particular friend of mine um, worked in McDonald's basically for a year during the pandemic and made a, a decent amount of money. And then when the pandemic was over, was able to go back to the office job because the world kind of opened up again. So people were doing that for a while. So I wonder if this is in part due to the unemployment rate which forced loads of people who normally wouldn't work in McDonald's to go work in McDonald's. So you're getting all these kind of people who'd work in office jobs and other sort of places working in these sort of low entry jobs. And by default, with numbers and shit, more than likely, you're getting people who probably don't look like they'd be working in McDonald's, working in McDonald's. You know what I mean? So you might get like a receptionist at a fucking hair salon who now can't work in hair salon because it's closed because of COVID. Now in McDonald's saying, hey, can I take your order? Looking like a fucking dime piece. And then this fucking manager who hasn't seen a woman above a, above a three in, a, in, like six, in like six years is now working alongside a girl who looks like she belongs in Love Island and he's near the fryer and he's just getting a bit delirious, right? It, it makes a lot of sense why it's probably happening. I'm not apologizing for it, but it does make a lot of sense why it's happening. But let's read the article because I could be completely wrong. So it says here, a toxic culture of sexual assault Harassment and racism and bullying has been alleged in more than 100 current and recent UK staff at outlets in fast food chains and McDonald's. The BBC was told that workers, some of the younger 17, are being gro groped and harassed. <laughs> Imagine getting paid six ninety nine an hour and you're getting groped and harassed. Life truly isn't worth it. That's the moment where I'll decide to, gr to grab myself a fucking blicky and fucking air that thing out. You're making me work, bust my ass for six ninety nine an hour, right? And then you're going to try and grope me over the fucking fryer. You're going to fucking grope me whilst I'm fucking stacking up a fucking McFillet fish or whatever it may be called, or a Big Mac. Nah, I'm airing this bitch out. Everybody's mum's dying. Everybody's mum's crying, sorry. I'm not, I'm not on this vibe. Anyway, um, the UK Equality Watchdog said that it was concerned by the BBC's findings and is launching a new email hotline. <laughs> McDonald's said that he had fallen short and deeply apologised. It added that employees deserve to work in a safe, respectable, and inclusive workplace. The BBC began investigating working conditions at McDonald's in February after a company signed a legally binding contract with the Equality and Human Rights Commissions in which it pledged to protect its staff from sexual harassment. At the time, McDonald's insisted, we already have a strong track record in this area. Imagine bragging about having a strong track record against sexual abuse in the workplace. That should be a given, shouldn't it, really? But hey, but our investigation has revealed a very different picture. Over the five-month period, we reached out to McDonald's workers to ask about their experience working there. Of the more than 100 allegations from the employees, we spoke to 31 related to sexual assault and 78 to sexual harassment. We also heard 18 allegations of racism, while six people made allegations of homophobia. Like, come on, Agostino, you black cunt, you're late. Get on the fucking friars, eh? Get on the fucking friars. This is why your people got fucking... Yeah, you know... You know... <laughs> ah, claims the BBC heard include a 17-year-old current employee in Cheshire who says a colleague of 20 years older than her called her a racial slur. And <laughs> and asked her to sh and asked to show her a penis and said he wanted to make a black and white baby. Yo, that's mad pickup line. First you call her a black b i t c h, then you say, "Can you do you want to see how my how my fucking penis works?" Then you say, "Hey, <laughs> do you want to make a kid?" 
Like, that's a mad line of pickup. Um, a former worker who was 17 when a senior manager at Plymouth Restaurant choked her and grabbed her bottom, a shift, <laughs> a shift manager also sent her ex ex sexual explicit images. There's nothing, no job, let alone McDonald's, is worth getting harassed like this, honestly. People are way more tolerable than I am because I would have aired that bad boy out. I would be stuffing fucking managers' faces in the fucking oil and shit. A manager in Hampshire who suggested a 16-year-old male worker perform a sexual act in exchange for vapes. Fucking hell. A manager who preyed on 16-year-old new female starter in Cheshire restaurant trying to pressure him into having sex. I love how they, they're all fucking under 19. That's really cool, isn't it? That's really cool. All under 19. God almighty. A woman who said that she... that A woman who said she was called a slur... Um, and subject to racist jokes at the Aberdeen branch. A worker in Essex who says she faced anti-Semitic abuse. A current worker in Oxfordshire, um, originally from India, who says the crew member spoke in gibberish <laughs> to imitate her and called her a Pakistani, a colleague, a terrorist. Oh, yo, this is the most English insults I've ever heard in my life. Male managers and crew members at a branch in Wales making jokes about putting cash bets on which of them could sleep with a new recruit. An outbreak of gonorrhea. Oh my God. At a branch in Northern Ireland where sexual relationship between staff members were commonplace. Gonorrhea in McDonald's. Yo, imagine going to go pick up your late night snack after a night out and you're being served by a fucking gonorrhea infested in McDonald's employees. Gonorrhea outbreak in a McDonald's in Northern Ireland. Fucking hell. Multiple workers told the McDonald's managers are outlets across the UK were responsible for harassment and assault. All too often, senior managers are said to have failed in the act on complaint. Staff also told the BBC of sexual relationship between managers and more junior members of staff, which is against company policy. Young women have described feeling constantly judged about how they looked. How can you judge them how they looked? Have you seen McDonald's uniforms? They're not exactly sexy. McDonald's uniforms, no? This is how you know there's a lot of people in those McDonald's places who are legitimately thirsty and are dying to be quenched. Because if you go into a McDonald's, right, and you're working in there, and you honestly look at the ladies in there work, wearing these fucking uniforms, and the first thing you do is that you want to get your dick hard, there's something wrong with you. Like, honestly, how can these uniforms make you hard? Please, how can these uniforms make you horny? I don't get it. I'm sure that being said, though, I'm sure there does exist a fucking genre of fucking porn where you can see people that work in McDonald's getting fucking ploughed. I'm sure it must exist. But I've never walked into a McDonald's and thought, oh yeah, that girl over there by the fucking fryers is fucking beautiful. The last thing I'm thinking about is that. I want to get my shit and get the fuck out of there. But God almighty, I, I imagine if you're working in these places, right? You, What happens, I don't know if you guys have had this before, but when you work in a workplace long enough, you sometimes get workplace goggles where sometimes people that look quite ordinary outside of work, because you see them every single day, five days a week, eight hours a day, they start to look way hotter than what they actually are, you know? You start to notice certain things. Oh, look, she's got a rack. Oh, look, she's got a bum. Oh, look at her face. Things that you'd never notice in her because, you know, she's probably a fucking free. But then when you're at work, that kind of happens. So maybe that happens also at McDonald's with these kind of people. They're seeing their colleagues every single day in these horrible, mustardy, grey fucking outfits, right? And they're fucking thinking, yeah, you know what? I want to get down with that. It's absolutely bizarre, really. Really, really bizarre. Really bizarre. Um, There's a saying at McDonald's that... <laughs> tits and tails what boys in the kitchen girls at the counter the idea is to put attractive people in the front said lucy who was 22 and worked in orange <laughs> tits on the tail <laughs> oh i fucking love it this is so horrible it kind of reminds me of this pub there's this pub here in london um i think it's in shoreditch it's a pub that um the artist tracy emin is kind of friends with the owner and if you go into the pub, they've got like loads of artwork of Tracy Emin hanging on the walls and shit. It's pretty cool. But um, one thing I remember about that pub was that um, the land the landlady um, who owns that pub, she only hires girls as uh, bartenders. There's no dudes that work there. And I remember it, it's kind of probably one of the better, no, it's probably one of the more popular bars in that area because there's all these like cute little hipster girls that work there and stuff. And it's a pretty clever tactic because it does work, especially in that sort of Shoreditch, Liverpool Street, financial type of area. All those office boys and shit, those finance boys come down after work to go and hang out there 
to, you know, to try and chat up these bartenders who are never going to give them any joy. But it kind of adds to the kind of appeal of the bar and they probably do a whole lot of money in there. So it probably is a thing that happens. I'm sure you can't do it legally, right? You're probably not legally allowed to just say only girls are allowed at the tills. But most supermarkets I've been to, um, even in the UK, have usually women working on the tills. I'm not sure if it's the same in the, in, in the US. Is it the same in the US? Like if you go to like a Target or like a, I don't know, whatever shops that you guys shop in to buy your groceries and shit, are you, is, is there usually women on the tills? Because it is over here. Usually it's like women and it's usually like, you know, people that look like they could be your mums and shit um, who are working on tills. They rarely, if ever, let lads, let the fellas work on the tills. Probably it's just one of those things. Um, it continues. The exception is that you work at McDonald's, you'll be harassed. Uh, expectation story is that you'll be harassed. Had it Emily, who was 20. She left the branch in Brighton last year um, after a male colleague in his 60s. A male colleague in his 60s kept stroking her hair in a sexually suggested way and making her feel uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Yo. I said it before because, you know, on my main podcast, the Exo Zinger Show, when I cover stuff, stuff about dance, you know, club cultures and shit, it always surprises me how flagrant and how fucking, you know, much of a landmine it is for girls who are operating within the dance music space. space, space and it kind of surprises me. But this doesn't surprise me now, right? It just is one of those things. Unfortunately, if you're a woman in a workplace, no matter where you're at, you're going to be facing some level of harassment. It doesn't matter if you're working in a fucking garage, in a fucking farm, in a fucking factory, in a fucking fast food chain. You're always going to sub be subjected to some level of creep behavior. It's fucking wild, man. A 20-year-old and a 60-year-old, you know? Madness. What people we saying in the chat? Um, yeah, same here. Um, it's both in the US. We have a place called uh, Hooters. It's kind of like that. <laughs> okay, yeah. I know what Hooters is, motherfucker. Um, McDonald's is one of the largest uh, private sector employers in the UK. I didn't know that. Fuck, you know, really. The fast food giant has more than 170,000 people working in over 1,450 restaurants. Its staff are also one of the country's youngest workforce. Three quarters of its employees are aged between 16 and 25. For many, it's their first job. Most workers are not directly employed by companies as McDonald's uses franchise system, which means individual operators are licensed and no outlets are employed the staff. I'm surprised it's that young because whenever I go into McDonald's, I always feel like the people in there are a lot older than what they look like. Or maybe it's just their, yeah, their, their face looks older, but they're actually younger. I never think they're between 16 and 25. They always look a little bit older than that. Um, but yeah, um, mad fucking thing here. Man just turning a blind eye. Uh, what are people saying here in February? What's this girl saying? Let, let's, let's hear what this girl says. Or these two ladies said. Or no, okay, only one video. Let's play this one. I think that they don't really think about their staff at all. Um, they have little to no regard for our feelings and how we might feel in the workplace and how we're being treated. Um, yeah. Because if they did. Because if they did, they'd do something about it. Fucking hell. They're going to get paid, though. If this is what they're saying it is, they're probably going to get paid. There's one thing McDonald's doesn't like is lawsuits, having to deal with it, all the public fucking backlash and shit. They're going to want to sweep this under the rug as soon as possible, which is unfortunate because these girls or these people who have been subjected to this will probably get paid, but they'll sweep it under the rug and it'll just continue. That's the thing. We're just continuing in, in, you know, under, you know, what's your thing called? Um, in the shadow sort of thing. It's actually not going to get sorted out in any type of way. Um, but yeah, man, this is this is really, 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 really crazy. To be fair, all of this stuff, me no likey. It looks fucking sad. It's really fucking bleak. Um, let's see. This is training not taken seriously. In February, um, agreement McDonald's pledged to zero tolerance on sexual harassment and to deliver training for employees. But staff have told the BBC the training has not been taken seriously by the managers. One employee described perching an iPad next to a McFlurry machine and speeding through the harassment training video <laughs> while he made drinks. Yo, that is so disrespectful, isn't it? <laughs> Baroness um, Keshwa Faulkner, chairwoman of the EHRC, said every firm should have a zero tolerance policy on sexual harassment and protect his workforce. McDonald's culture has faced scrutiny globally in the US for facing a multi-million dollar also brought by employee sexual harassment. Sorry, the executive um, Steve Eastbrook was fired in 2019 after he was revealed to have inappropriate close relations with a McDonald's employee 
allegations of harassment on McDonald's first service in the UK five years ago when the Baker's Food and Allied Workers Union says it received 1,000 complaints. There was little reporting of the allegations at the time and this could be because some of the cases were settled using confidentiality clauses. Sarah Woolley, General Secretary, said the new allegations uncovered by the BBC are shocking. So, it's kind of crazy to work in McDonald's. It really is a bit of a landmine. If you're out there, be very, very careful because clearly there are victims here who are sharing their story, which is absolutely crazy. So make sure that you're watching your P's and Q's. And I'm hoping, hoping for hoping's sake, that these people get something out of this um, to kind of make up from some of this fucking craziness that's been happening to them. 